are starting a new series here at Flipside Tactics. It's called Road to Glory, where we're teaching notable personalities within the Dota 2 community or in esports in general how to play Dota 2 more effectively. What we're doing is it's sort of a, a, a hybrid of the Dota 101 in-house academy um, and coaching sessions that we have available for purchase on the coaching network at flips, www.flipsidetactics.com. Yet, we're recording them and we're obviously making videos out of them for you guys to see the progress of your favorite personalities throughout the life of the series. The first guest that we'll have featured is Anuxi. She's a notable item creator for Dota 2, and she's only been playing since December. So we're going to be working on the 5, for those of you that may not know what the 5 is. Shame on you, but it's hard support. I hope you guys enjoy this experiment. Leave all possible feedback and suggestions as to who should be featured in the series in the future. Well, without further ado, we'll be jumping straight into the game. Okay, so this is um, episode two of uh, Road to Glory. Hopefully, Anuxi ends up reaching there much faster than uh, I have. So, uh, okay, in this episode, we're going to be going over a replay within a week of the last episode. Uh, we didn't know a week and a day. So we're going to gauge her her progression thus far. I'm going to look over. A bunch of stuff that she has done in this game in terms of team fight stacking and pulling double pulling um in response to what she did last week so that we can give her a grade relatively speaking um based on her performance in this game so what we'll do now is we'll start it anooks are you ready yep yep Let, let's go we're gonna watch the entire thing so okay i like your starting items by the way <clears throat> Pretty good, nice wards. Very good, actually. See, it's sort of difficult though. Like the ward you place is good for mid. That's a very good mm -hmm. mid. Uh, that's a very good ward for mid. But it also puts your your lane in a really dangerous spot because mm -hmm. what you can't see is like when they're in the jungle where they are. Oh, okay. So, like, I give so you an I example. Be like putting you, it. Like, just underneath AA's rune on that? I mean, you could. Well, it just depends on how good the other team is. Like, if you're in a tri lane versus tri lane, I wouldn't put it there. I, I would put it mm -hmm. in the normal spot so that you can see, um, like, if they're going to leave the jungle, if they're going to. Because if they're in the jungle and say they decide to smoke gank, right? Like, mm -hmm. you will need to be able to see that. Like, you'll be able to see them doing it unless they go all the way through the back. But that ward won't even prevent a smoke gank um, on your mid. Because they would have they would have already smoked either back at their tower, okay, um, or somewhere out of or range behind. anyway. Yeah, exactly. So you see what I'm saying? Like, so I like the attempt here, and that was a good job by him. Although he didn't, it was really stupid of him not to send. Uh, oh, he did. He did. There you go. Nice. Oh, this tricky AA. Yeah. I like it. I kind of knew what he was doing, but uh, yeah. I wasn't quite sure. If he was going to block all my camps or not. Yeah, it's all good. Yes. We're taking advantage here. Let's see this Meepo. See what he's doing. Interesting Meepo uh, pub pick, huh? Yeah, he played really well, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I was watching. So do you want me to unpause it? No, no, no. Keep going. Why would you want to pause? What minute? Oh, I thought we had unpaused. Oh, I'm at... Okay, I will pause this for you. I'm at 140. All right, let's let's group up. I'm sorry. I think I should have said play. Yes. However, one would also counter that when I'm talking about uh, AA blocking your pull and not knowing if he would, and then he did. Right? You'd have been able to gauge mm -hmm. that maybe I had started it. Are you at 140? Yep. All right, go. So I like the double pulling here. Oh, a little late. Oh, that one had yeah. hurt. It's okay, though. It's fine. But at least you're understanding that that's what you should be doing. Now, the unfortunate part for you is now you're still level one. Mm-hmm. The good thing, though, is you have a large margin for error. Now, 
You know when you try to pull this into the lane, you know you have, oh, you, no, you don't know because I didn't go over this last week with you. You have to eat a tree. Like the pathing changed. They changed the pathing to where now you can't pull like that like you just tried. I know you were mm -hmm. just trying to stack, but you have to eat a tree from the backside. Yep. And then you have yeah, to basically Yeah, one of those put, two trees. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you need to pull it almost backwards so that they don't have to go around the trees. They just cut through the trees. Sort of... Uh, just a hot fix. Like, I mean, I guess the leash time was too long for Valve. So what they did was, well, if they fixed the leash timers because of the mid, uh, the radiant mid pull. Uh, and it yep. just so happened that it also screwed that one. But you can still pull that one. You just have to alter the way you do it. Just have to alter the jungle. Yeah. So... You gotta, like, yep, you get, those are your last hits. You miss those, that's why you don't have, I know. yeah, I know. It's all right. Oh, let's, let's see this. It. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's good that this happened. So that's an excellent, phenomenal pull. You did a really good job, and I like what happens here. We'll discuss why I brought up the pull in a second. And, oh, he blocked himself. <laughs> what a cool guy. Now, why I brought up why I brought that up, see, you should have got Shadow Poison here, by the way. I mean, okay, relatively speaking, that was the correct build. But in a mm -hmm. tri lane, you are not getting aggressive, right? Like, you haven't even been seeing them. So there's no point in getting two points at the Soul Catcher because mm -hmm. you're not actually fighting. So you want to get into Shadow Poison because uh, you did it later on. You started pulling with Shadow Poison. Yep. So you can do that, um, and it also gives you, obviously, um, vision and more um, more leeway in terms of your, your pulling because you can pull from a further distance because of Shadow Poison and all that stuff, so that was good. What I was mentioning earlier was, so you know that, uh, that the double pull mechanic? I'm not sure if you know exactly how it works, but, and I like... I like that you noticed that. Of course, um, yeah, I'll talk about the pull here after this. This is very important. What happens here is crucial. So he almost blocked you. He almost ruined it, and yet mm -hmm. he was astute enough to be like, "Oh shit!" You know, hey, and then boom, and then you go back. See, all right. So the mechanic I was talking about was. If they attack you within a relative range of the creep, they'll automatically hit you. So you don't actually have to run all the way to your creep. If you stop and they attack you, if the creep noticed that they're in range, they'll actually still stop and turn around. So... Oh, okay. Was it difficult to understand? Because I can... Yeah, yeah. I'll just pause it for a second. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. You keep going. Um, When you pull a hard camp, Right? Mm -hmm. And you're trying to pull it into the wave? Yep. Okay, so normally how I taught you to do it was just to run through, right? So that they'll collide. But mm -hmm. just so you know for future reference, say um, the creep died a little earlier than expected. If you just stop, if you're in a reasonable range and the hard camp attacks you, mm -hmm. they'll still turn around because they realize, because remember, your priority yep. to your creep. So if an attack comes off, and you're within range of your creep, they'll instantly mm -hmm. stop where they're moving to attack the creep that hits you, is what I'm saying. So, like, if you were to stop, like, right here, instead of running all the way through on melee, it, it, it's especially effective with range. Because yeah. as long as the projectile is close enough to the opposing creep, or to your creep, they'll still stop and attack you. You get oh, what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. I see. So, you don't always have to run through. Sometimes you're not going to have, like, that to me is the cleanest way to do it. But sometimes you're not always going to have that, that chance. So since you don't always have that chance, you have to know like other ways that you can actually protect yourself. Now, here's what I was talking to you about earlier. If you salve up right here and then disrupt mm -hmm. yourself, you come out with like three or 400 life. Now, you got lucky. He bailed you out here by failing. Mm. But just so you know So I can the salve future, inside the disruptor or I have to salve? No, then salve disrupt. out and disrupt. But Lycan was not in range to attack you. So you could have literally done it whenever you had wanted, and you would have been fine. Like, he was never in range to actually disrupt it. So just 
pop the salve, disrupt yourself. You come out with okay. um, three seconds worth of regeneration and from the salve, and, and, and you're good. And like I said earlier, you could do that on OD and Puck, although those are potentially mid-heroes. Um, yep. It's still good to know that you can do that. Um, you can even uh, do that yeah. with an item like Yule Scepter. You can pop nice. a salve in Yules, and then, yep. That's another thing I want to speak to you about, um, but we'll get there. Is I noticed you did go Yules this game. Well, and I, I didn't, didn't use it in one fight. Yeah, I know. I was like, I have Yules! Why did I use it? I was so gutted. It's alright. Puck making an appearance, and now he he played really well this meatball here. And then yeah. you have to pay attention to the mini map. I remember when I was watching, you didn't even look, and and I was right. You gotta pay attention to the mini map. Now he didn't need your help, but that's so sort of not what I'm correcting. Like you had tunnel vision here, and I could hear the sounds because I'm on your perspective. Mm -hmm. So so if you hear that sound, if you know Puck is engaging. Take a look or like run towards it on the mini map and just take a look and focus on that because um, it, w I don't know. Let's say for God's sakes you could have gotten a kill with a poison um, like a shadow poison but you didn't get it mm -hmm. off because you weren't paying attention. And see this is so smart. Like this is also the reason why I was saying you don't actually need um, that point um, super late yep. or super early because you could have just gotten the extra point into shadow poison and then you could have just been pulling since you weren't really attacking. And I fucking love that disrupt. <laughs> yeah, this was so. I was like, Holy this shit, was I so clutch. Up. This was so clutch. This was so nice. Uh, now you're gonna die anyway. But what you did here was you bought time. You yeah. bought time for Meepo to get there, and he got there, and he ended up getting a kill because of it. And I believe he gets a set. No, actually, he gets away. He, he could have he was microing better. Oh, he did. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he he did this. I don't know why this Lycan keeps killing himself. He didn't have to stop. He would have made it. And Meepo didn't have any mana. Yes, that was excellent. That was lucky timing. You obviously couldn't have planned that. That was really fast. Mm -hmm. But when you're aware, you can make plays like this. It was a good job at TP bottom, especially to considering you're seeing your team. Um, trying to take the tower, although your camera's still in the well. I don't know why. And that's why you see, you see what happens when you don't see where you're going? You were walking down the river trying to place that ward. <laughs> yeah. I was using the map to navigate. Which is good. I, I like that your eyes are on your map. Oh, look at you. She's like, I got this. Don't disrupt. Oh, my God. You're so good at this game. Oh! To waste a man. You know what you just did? You just wasted what 120 mana. You didn't need to do oh, that. Oh, did I? Yes. You didn't have to do that. See? And you could have, if you had disruption, you may have been able to save the puck if your positioning was better. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But because you, no, she was dead. Just, just, uh... Drop the amplification, shadow poison one or two times. She's finished. Shadow poison. Okay, you can do that. That's fine. Oh, oh my goodness. Kite. See, if you if you drop the amplification and you shadow poison and then you shadow poison, you're good. Like, you, you could have amplified it, ran away. He turns around, shadow poison. He tries to run forward, run away. He turns around, he's going to have to, shadow poison. Yeah. I, for some reason, I thought he was going to die there. I was like, I got this. And then I was like, no. Yeah, well, you did. You would have had it. The problem is you're just standing there like, hey, Ursa, hit me. The one thing about that hero is obviously if you're in range, he's yeah, going to kill you. Yeah. Yes, if you're not in range. That's why the Yule Scepter that you pick up later, which I'm alluding to now, which I shouldn't, but um, was a very smart pick. However, there was a better pickup for this current situation. Um, and we'll, we'll discuss that when it happens. But that death right there was completely on you. That was beyond avoidable now if you notice that there's nothing here that they have it warded although it is 11 minutes i wouldn't suggest the counter warded although you are going to it's it's still good that you did it but just know that at this late in the in the game you don't actually have to i kind of did it more for me because i knew he was going to start jungling soon okay and i well wouldn't then, start stacking well see it didn't happen so then based on that logic you were correct because if, if that's your purpose then yes if the purpose was because it's a because you're a creature of habit, then no, you didn't have to. You could have actually been roam ganking, and you should have. Well, no, we haven't discussed this. This is oh, look at this. 
This girl's pro. Meepo screwed you up here. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Now you still didn't. You still missed the pull. I still didn't. I still missed the pull. But it's I fine. Pulled early. But it's fine. I don't. I. I don't mind that you're not hitting it. I'm. I'm. I'm glad that you're. You know, able to. I just wanted to try it. That's think all. about these things. Yeah, but that's still awesome. But this is something to practice now. Now practice double pulling with shadow poison when you have the opportunity to. Um, in mm. practice games, that's something to practice. That's actually a really good skill. Okay. Now you're playing like Ake. From uh, Alliance, who won, yes. by the way, yesterday. Did I you know, get to watch I watched, any of that? Yeah, I watched everything. It awesome. Was awesome. Yes, it was. I'm so so happy that, uh, that they're playing that well. I mean, it, it, it was just an amazing tournament. This was a good play. You still could have killed him using Shadow Poison, and you didn't have to actually, like, because he was running in your direction, could have Shadow Poisoned and then attacked him once, and he would have died. But mm -hmm. now I'm just getting nitpicky like an asshole. But I'm just saying, you didn't actually have to. I felt like you wasted more mana that you needed to, mm. but I'm still happy that you made the play. I'm only critiquing you um, in that way because obviously I just want you to know what you could have done better, but it, but you did everything that you could have. That is, I don't even need to talk about this. That was so good. Don't forget, you uh, you had two charges. You could have used the two charges, and then you could have um, um, popped your purge. You used two charges during AA's ultimate. And mm -hmm. um, you get no regen from it. So you basically wasted the two charges. Mm. Yep. Whenever AA's ultimate hits you, you can't. So. Oh. Okay, you could have just purged. You could purge somebody. So you didn't have a lot of mana anyway. So purge. You could have purged. And you, um, it's long enough distance that you wouldn't have had to put yourself in harm's way. But it's short enough mm -hmm. distance. Um, purge too. Either whoever you wanted. Uh, at okay. that point, it was uh, the AA or the Lena. You could have just purged any one of them and ran away. You didn't have to actually be there for the death. Mm -hmm. See, look, look at your look uh, at your yep. ultimate. You, you're not regening. Yeah, yeah. Or your HP. That's because the AA is ultimate. So when you use those charges, you wasted those charges. Had you used them earlier, mm -hmm. you could have actually purged the Ursa. Now the Ursa died anyway, but purge on Ursa is going to be at a premium because. Ursa's weakness, spell. yeah. Well, no. Ursa's weakness um, is range. Because if you can kite uh, Ursa, that's why Ursa isn't as picked as much. Because it's easy to kite her. Especially considering Shadow Demon is um, the best support in the game right now. So, theoretically, that's also why Sven isn't picked up as much. Um, mm -hmm. Because it's quite easy to kite that hero. Um, that's, that's what limits those heroes. Especially at the moment, right? Like So, like a Rod of Atos... Um, you, your purge are very good against those heroes um particular or in particular mm -hmm. yep so even nakes that's why um but nakes is just really good anyway so mm -hmm. that you know, he seems to be the one well yeah well it, it's just he's 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 incredibly useful in tri lanes more than the other heroes which in turn is the reason why he's used as much or why he's used more than those other heroes with the same impediment and Meepo, oh, nice. <laughs> You're going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Meepo could have, but, yep. And, and again, you have charges. Now, again, yeah, now you, you didn't see. need them. It, whoa, yeah. Wow, I didn't even see that one. I was saying, don't forget, you can actually still purge. Now, granted, both those, he well, that hero in particular was going to die anyway, just like the Ursa was before. Um, but... You've, you haven't used Purge once, and it's 15 minutes, it's okay mm -hmm. to use it, especially if it's going to net you kills, just to make sure you get okay. those kills. Yeah, I keep forgetting, like, what the actual skill is. Like, I'm like, what does my ultimate even do? Sometimes I just press it by accident. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it's it's done something. What about, how come it's slow? Like, no, yeah, it's, not used to using it's, it. it's a really useful spell. <clears throat> We're going to go over uh, smoke ganks and stuff in the next few weeks, just so you know. Um, because that's something else that you could have done throughout this game. But so far, I think your early game was really good. And I think you did a lot of things right. I think now mm -hmm. you need to go back to base. I don't know what you're doing. You're super crazy. Should have gone back to base, heal, TP'd. I appreciate the ward. But notice that their ward's already up. Yes, I just noticed that. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn it. That one was about to die. Why did you place another one? Oh, that's fine. Yep. But that's not their fault. It's your fault. You got to pay attention. Mm. Got to open your eyes, Miss Australia. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. How are you not? Oh my goodness. I know. Oh. Okay. Okay. I can't critique you, obviously, because oh, no, actually, no. Screw that. I will because. <laughs> you know better than anybody that not only should you be dead, but you should be embarrassed about that because that just tells me two things. That tells me that besides everything that we saw earlier today, um, this basically cemented the fact that those guys just aren't very nice disruption. Ooh, that you, you were playing with people that were inferior to you skill wise, because mm -hmm. that, that that right there um, definitely proves that. I think you need to do a better job with uh, recognition of where you are mm -hmm. and your teammates um, relative to the map. So, like, okay. that play, you saw them right there, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to come up behind them. I got this. <laughs> and then what happened was you got tunnel vision, like we talked about earlier. And then you walk up, and you're like, oh, wait, why, where's my team? Team? <laughs> so, <laughs> you need to do a little, yeah, you need to do a little bit better. Um, in terms of uh, your mini map awareness, but you did, you, and, and and again, look, look, look towards mini map, mini map. Mm. Beep, 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 beep. I First appreciate yes, <laughs> I appreciate you doing this right here, stacking and pulling. If you want to put a Roshan, a Roshan ward, put it on your uphill, or go okay. deeper into their jungle and put it further in, so you can see mm -hmm. smoke ganks that are gonna yeah, be done. Like maybe. on that stairs. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, All right. and here I wouldn't mind a ward behind the tower. I don't think I've showed you that ward spot. And you're if you're in aggressive tri lane on the dire, um, yep. you would actually put it there um, qu quite often. You know what what I'm talking about, right? Like right there yeah, in yeah. the lane, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to do that, and then I was like, oh, something flew by me. Wait, hang on a second. What the? <laughs> go back to that tunnel vision. He loses away. focus. I'm gonna go place that ward. Oh wait, what is that giant snowball that just ran by me? Oh, let me that ward now. Oh man. Oh, almost. It would have been better to get your ult off there than your amplification of damage. Although, uh, mm -hmm. once again, you can say, oh, well, well, you're nitpicky right now. Yes, sort of. But if you're going to choose one, you should choose the one that counters the other hero as yep. opposed to just amplifies the damage. Because what if, I don't know, what if one of your other teammates got locked down in some way? Ursa just walks up to them too and kills them as well. Mm. Um but and I can so far. So um, good. I can use my ultimate through the disruption, so I can purge them while they're disrupted. No, but okay. as soon as he came off a of disruption, you had your finger on your um your amplification, and this this shadow, this this sand king is super boss. Um, mm -hmm. it, you could have just had your finger on purge and did the same thing. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. Also, you want sentries. When you're playing against Ursa, you want sentries at Roche for that reason. He got in there without anybody knowing it. Mm. Well, obviously not anybody knowing it because Sand King, excuse me, was right there. But So like, you could just place a sentry like on top of your staircase here, like a little bit south of where you guys are, and you'll mm -hmm. be fine. And I don't know. Did you disrupt? Okay, the disruption it um works. Like You can actually use... Um, I, 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 illusions? Oh, see, that's not. You the tank, yeah, yeah, but I need to left click. You need to hold right. position them. Yeah. Also, use purge on Lena, who had like one hit point left. If you would have used it on Lycan, that would have been a dead Lycan. Instead, he gets mm. away here. Do you want to rewind that back so we can see it, or no? You. you yeah, I'll okay. just go back ten. So double pause ten? it. Yep, double ten. Okay. Right. Uh, nope. One more. So it should be 2051, correct? Or a little bit less? Yep. Okay, go. Okay, so here, that's fine. But remember, if you disrupt yourself and hold position, you can do that. Look what you did here. The Shadow Poison was good, and then you purged. If you purge Lycan, look at Lycan, click on Lycan. His ultimate's down. Yeah. He's dead. He dies. Because you Shadow Poison, Shadow Poison, Shadow Poison, Shadow Poison, and he just dies. And here, it's a, you, know, you know, it's a good kill. Very good, very good. Your team's getting very aggressive. Yes, I'm not gonna uh, disc like I'm not gonna take points off your performance because of the smoke ganks. Um, mm -hmm. because I haven't gone over that with you. But 
just know that you got to keep in mind that smoke ganks are effective although i mean again it's it's a uh, that's more of an indictment of me but i'm not trying to overwhelm you yeah but yep. smokes that's are good true. smokes are good and powerful tool but it's my responsibility to get there with you so unfortunately these things are magic immune so that won't work here yeah. but it was a good thought i like the i mean at least your mind is I, in the right place that's that's what's important you're gonna wear their jungle i, I think assuming? dragons yep. are not one of them isn't magic immune i was like please someone be over there that's not magic immune but it was hmm the, dra uh, Is it the, the little dragons? minion dragons. Um, yeah. Those you can, yeah. But um, the the golems and the other ones are magic immune. Dinosaurs. And, and and the little, it's only the big dragon that's magic immune. But the other ones, I still don't think you can get shadow poison on them. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. But you could cast stuff on them, like like Gyro's rocket barrage actually hurts them. So you know, stupid shit like that you can do. See here. Now you're getting into yeah, the danger zone. No. Again, you didn't need a disruption there. You could have just shadow poisoned. See, look, you didn't use shadow poison once. You could have shadow poisoned Lena like three times. You could have shadow poisoned her when Puck engaged, when you were far away. Yep. You could have done it one more time. And then when you literally walked up to her, you could have shadow poisoned, amplified her damage, or purged her. Purged her would have killed her. You could have purged her. She would have had three, three stacks. Um, she stunned. You still had one, one more available shadow poison up. You, you could have had four shadow poisons off. And a purge, she would have died, even though you would have died. Yeah. And you may have even lived if, when she stuns you and you came out of it, you could have disrupted yourself. By that point, mm -hmm. um, your your purge would have gotten off. She would have taken all the damage. She may have died. You may have gotten away. Who knows? I don't know. But, like, you can't really, like, prove a negative, right? Or, like, stuff like yeah. that. But... That would have given you a better opportunity, I think, to succeed in that in that situation. Yeah, I keep forgetting to use my shadow poison like mm -hmm. offensively. Like I'm like, oh, it doesn't do that much damage, yes. but actually, it really does do yeah. a lot of damage. And somebody was telling me today, like, hey, like, um, why would you want to max that instead of disruption? Just so you know, disruption scales well. Disruption mm -hmm. scales really well late game, but disruption scales well because with more items, it does more damage. So, like, when a hero, like, if you disrupt, like, Ursa, right, his illusions would do more damage. That's just because you liked him. Mm. <laughs> his illusions um, do more damage from your disruption the bigger he gets. That's why it scales yep. better. Um. Early on, when they do no damage, it does nothing. Shadow Poison is still always going to be better because of the range, because of the damage. You don't have the mana pool to just spam Shadow Poison. Mm -hmm. So you'll constantly have to go back to base, but I'd rather you go back to base. Oh, that was a beautiful disruption. But, but, but I got nailed. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. But still, it, it's you're, it, it, it's a delay tactic. That means mm -hmm. Lena, AA, and Windrunner were more focused on you instead of Skywrath. Skywrath yeah. gets away and still kills Lycan because when you disrupted, they waited to kill you. Instead of just saying, mm -hmm. screw this Shadow Demon... Let me kill the Skywrath, who's worth a hell of a lot more. They get, um, they they get the Tunnel Vision Syndrome. Yep. So you're gonna constantly have to go back to base because of Shadow Poison, but you will net way more kills, and it's just much better um, mm -hmm. to have Shadow Poison. And with those kills comes the gold. The more gold means earlier arcanes, more intelligence items. Um, so you get to have more mana regen, and maybe you can effectively stay in battle longer. So. But the only thing that we did last week was work on the early game, the um, like the early pulling and warding spots and all that stuff. And in terms yeah. of that, I think you did really well. And can I assume that basically all your games are like this? <laughs> the last game wasn't. But I'm not talking about early. wins or losses. I'm talking more. Are you, you know, stacking and pulling, double yeah. pulling, warding, yeah, like you're warding? Yeah, stacking the jungle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So then, yeah. So the progression in a week is really big. This is really good. This is really fun to watch. That's why I decided to alter our plans this week because when I was watching mm -hmm. this game, like I stopped watching this game after like 10 minutes. I was like, okay, because I watched the first 10 minutes. It was like, oh, whoa. See here? You know what you could have done? Tell me. 
What could you have done? What should you have done? Purge. <laughs> and then? Or, actually, no. What should you have done first? Disrupted. Yes. Should have disrupted your teammate, then purged, then shadow poisoned, amplified the damage, shadow poisoned, shadow poisoned. And also, you remember what I said earlier about sentries? You still don't have sentries. You haven't bought a sentry. Mm. Yeah, when you're playing against Ursa, you need a sentry because you need to have sentries for, for Roche. But more importantly yep. than that, just in case, you have to look at people's item builds. One of them oh. went Lothar's or Shadow Blade. Do you know whom? What, Ursa? Yes, because you just saw what happened to you. Yep. So once you see items like that, you have to keep them on you. Because if you had it there, or dust, you see you get dust, dust is cool. Sentry's a little bit better for the situation because you can, it, it gives you two tactical advantages. You can put it in places where you are to protect you at all times, and you can cover Roshan for smoke ganks. Mm. Whereas dust only allows you to react to what the invisible hero is doing. Yep. Whereas you can be proactive uh, uh, with what the invisible hero is doing when you have sentries placed. Mm -hmm. So dust is normally offensive and um, excuse me <clears throat> sentries are defensive. You right now are in a defensive position against this Ursa because you, you don't want him to get off. You want to make sure you have your like your D in order. See, like here you would uh, purge. I hope you purge. Okay, you disrupt. Okay. Now I purged. <laughs> oh, okay, good. That's fine. But again, if you purge, you didn't need the disruption. So and so yeah. you spent 320 mana instead of just 200 mana. You, you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But that's a big difference. It may not seem big, but it's huge. Because look at the length of this fight. What about disruption now? Wouldn't you have liked the disruption now? Yeah. To give your teammates now uh, again. The, you didn't need the play but what if you needed the play right like just because in this situation it didn't happen and he bails you out again just because in this situation it didn't happen you got bailed out that doesn't mean that you couldn't have made it better nice juke oh yes <laughs> Still died. doesn't matter <laughs> good try good try puck i believe gets a Kill. No, 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 Puck didn't get the extra kill. That's fine. Good juke, though. Good try. Good attempt. That's nice. Good stuff. Very nice. Spent all my bloody urn charges, too, just trying to survive. I know. It's kind of it, 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 No, it would have been worth it if you lived. It's just, unfortunately, um, you have no boots. You also are level 9. That's, that's something that we want to work on. We want to work on higher experience. Look at how low you are. The, the mm -hmm. lowest per hero on their team is three levels higher than you. Yeah. You are food. You're really, <laughs> really food right now. Hmm. This guy's having fun. So I think from looking at it um, <clears throat> in context, though I think you did really well early and you, and you warded really well throughout this entire game mm -hmm. i think more movement is something we're going to need to work on and yep. not only more movement i i think we need to work on execution of these ganks because your mm -hmm. level that's what's hurting your level and this was impeccable timing by the way shadow poison you should be shadow poisoning if you can't purge here there you go shadow poison shadow poison that's fine that's good okay so now let's, now let's talk about, you win urn, and I don't mind the urn. However, the reason why I don't like the urn per se in this pick, or in this game, is because you weren't successful with any ganks. Now though you got charges from assist, you wouldn't, based on how the game is progressing, you wouldn't have known you were going to be more successful when you picked up mm -hmm. the urn. Um, so I think getting arcanes may have been good for you. Um, yep. Though the urn was very smart. It's just since you're not very successful, since you haven't been very successful in these ganks, it was awfully ambitious of you, right? It was a little bit of overzealousness, thinking that, mm -hmm. hey, now, now that I pick up the urn, I'm going to be successful in all these ganks. It just happened to work out that way. Also, you're not using your item to heal you. But you wouldn't have known that based on the way the game was going. So to make that decision to get that item, 
was sort of you just you know it's sort of like wishful thinking mm -hmm. but that was definitely one of the items that um i may have gone um i say that of course expecting that you know no offense of course i would have may have been more successful in these ganks um, mm -hmm. but so the theory behind the item was very good because you don't want to keep having to go back to base mm. you want to keep ganking and being successful because they they out carry you in the late game so the theory craft behind your item progression is good but i think you should have gotten arcanes based on the way the situation mm -hmm. was going mm -hmm. however now that you went um earn arcanes would have been the choice here i don't know if yep. this is what you end up going but is this what you end up doing or no uh, i'm not sure what i'm doing here okay. with my money okay so after that i think what i was would you saving go? for um a shadow what is it that ethereal blade Go Scepter. Go Scepter. Okay. That was smart. Okay. I, I, I mean, I can see why you would do that. But you know what would be better than a Go Scepter? A Force Staff. What? Ah. Do you know why? Why? Separation. Uh, Lycan yep. and Ursa want to close the distance on you. They can get close to you, and you can just Force Staff out. But you could also Force Staff teammates. The Go Scepter <laughs> only prevents you from not getting hit. The Force Staff prevents everyone else on your team from getting it. And you know you almost saved, you saved his life, right? Yeah, I know. I know. I saw and that. And you I killed like, one no. of your teammates. Yeah. And you have purge, and you haven't used it. Purge someone. I hope you purge someone. Don't make me sad. You could have purged the AA. You're making me sad, Anuxi. Super sad. Mm. That is That is your best ability. Do not ever forget this. That is your best ability. So from now on, I hope that anytime you play Shadow Demon, you remember this. Purge is your best ability. Always, 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 always. It's mm -hmm. really good. Beautiful job. Very smart choice. And, you, and you're waiting on the purge. Unfortunately, like I said, Lycan seems to be one of the few heroes that that's not going to really affect. Yeah. But he dies anyway because he took too long killing you because luckily you disrupted. So again, because you're low, people don't have the the patience or the wherewithal to say hey let me back up so what they do is they waited for he waited for you to come out to kill you and because he did yeah. that his ultimate wore off even though the purge yeah, did just a minimal amount of damage it still helped yeah i was like cursing myself then i was like if i had my ghost scepter hurry up career or something yes That's that would have <laughs> saved you i completely agree but you know what else would have saved you the four staff yep and i I'm I'm just saying relative to this game, Ghost Scepter was a very smart choice. But the thing is, they're not always gonna go after you. Mm. So that's that's the problem. Like normally you force Ghost Scepter over things like Force Staff and all that other stuff when you're like a super high priority target. You're a mm. a feeding target, but the thing is you have such range and you're supposed to be in the back and you're supposed to set up defensive disruptions so you're never really supposed to be within range of yep. the melees anyway therefore that's why you don't need ghost scepter as much as you would think on this hero that's why because you're not so much in the front you're in you're in the action all the time but you're never in peril or you shouldn't be or else you're doing something wrong so that's why um four staff would have been better here because you could have mm -hmm. even protected teammates like you remember when they were fighting at Roche and the teammate that you basically killed because you disrupted the Ursa and then Ursa came out and then ended up killing that teammate who was standing there, yep. you could have forced that hero out. Yeah. You had the money, or you were close mm -hmm. to, but if you would have maybe been more successful earlier or a few things would have been different, um, you know, you would have basically had the item and that's that's why you get that item. It's, to, it's, it's, um, it's a... Quasi team fight, defensive team fight, um, offensive. Because remember, you watched my item video, right? I, I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, you remember how uh, on when we were, Oh, okay. Well, I show you how to use four staff offensively. So when people are out of position or are facing the wrong direction, you can push them out of position, or, mm -hmm. almost like a pudge hook. Mm. So it's a really good item. Like so. So say you're protecting Roshan, right? And somebody goes in the river to go place a ward. You can four staff them closer to your team and kill them. And then they're screwed, yeah. and it's a 4v5. So you can use it multiple ways. In this game, you would have needed the flexibility because of the fact that you had two very mobile heroes attacking two 
different targets. So the Force Staff mm -hmm. would have been better because the only thing that that item is protecting you from, the Ghost Scepter, is protecting you from being in melee range. But if they're going to waste their time killing you at this point, it's okay because your team should be able... I mean, even though your team is relatively early game, the whole, the whole point is you're going to be a, a dead weight target. And you would rather them spend their shit on you than anything else. Oh, See here, the item saved you though. Mm. And you should have used it. Um, you should have healed yourself during the the disruption, or during the ghost scepter. You remember when he was just standing there? Uh, yeah, yeah. You could do that as well, since they're not hitting you. Yeah, you know, as long as obviously you know it's not gonna break. Good job. You, I mean, this hey, was, I purged. This, I know. I saw this was excellent positioning. Uh, let's go back a second. Um, just Wait. pause it. I'm at thirty-seven, thirty-one. I'm going back ten seconds. Mm-hmm. 10 or 20? Let's go 20. Alright. Alright, you ready? Yep. Go. So here you're slowed. Right? You see the disruption that didn't hit, but look at what you did. You healed, you healed, you waited, you stayed within range, you weren't going to bail on your team. Shadow poison from a distance. Like, that, that's a heads up play. Like, a lot of people back up and they leave. Mm -hmm. You stood there. You helped the teammates. Now you're giving earn charge to your teammates. You, you guys are gonna continue to push now. Like I just wanted to highlight that because the positioning there was excellent. So okay. and initially you were out of position. You popped the ghost scepter. You ran away. Those heroes are chasing you. Your teammate gets mm -hmm. in the fray. You have no life. You earn. Um, you get to a reasonable amount of um, HP. You're moving back into the fight. You earn again. You shadow poison, you're auto attacking for damage since um, there's obvious distractions coming from your team. That's a very good job. A lot of people would have backed up all the way. Trust me, I see this shit all the time. And right. then, and, and then Usually my next I comment, would back yeah. up all the way yes, too. Yes, I know. And then normally my next okay. comment is, hey, you can't be afraid of life. You know, everybody always laughs and like makes and pokes fun at the fact I say that, but it's the truth though. It's because there was no reason why you should have backed up. So why are you going to back up? And you didn't back up. And even though I'm not going to say you were the main contribution to that fight, because I think they would have got those kills anyway, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. You just yeah. you stack the odds in your favor by being there, right? Because that's just you just increase the odds that that fight is going to go the way you want because you're still there. You're still landing Shadow Poisons. Um, you had an array of skills there that you could have used. Um, obviously, follow-up disruption. Um, you could have amplified some, somebody's... Um, magic damage taken on the other team and you may have gotten more kills you know hypothetically speaking but i'm glad you didn't run away and you basically had the balls to stay around there and that was a very smart play and a lot of players wouldn't make that play they would have just backed up and be like i'm out peace <laughs> poor meepo sad guy yeah so now you guys know that it's 39 minutes the game is pretty much not going the way you want it to go because they out carry that crap out of you. Yep. So you have to know you're and in a time easy. limit here. Mm hmm. Yeah, well. Lena just helped you with getting a very bad item choice. Good job here. The shadow Poison. Good job trying to defend. Very nice. Pick up your farm. Yep. Oh, my goodness. This AA. <laughs> so annoying. Hero's good, though, man. That ultimate's really good. Mm hmm. Good deny. Very nice. Now you have a lot of gold, but you don't have a lot of wards. Don't yep. forget that it seems as if wards are more important in the early game. But I would counter that by saying early game, you can make up from a lot of mistakes in the mid game. Late game, mm -hmm. this is considered early late game. You don't make, there's no place where you can make up ground. One bad engagement post 45 minutes you could literally lose a game right there that could decide yep. a game so in my opinion vision is more at a premium at this stage of the game than it is earlier so there's no mm -hmm. reason why you shouldn't have had um vision up if you have you know 12,000 or 1200 gold excuse me and here you, yeah i mean that's what sucks you. purge is a pain <laughs> in the butt on that guy so it's unfortunate but you see it does you know some damage and stuff mm. 
He just completely I was like hoping it would uh, purge his BKB, but I guess nothing yeah, does that. No, no, it just <laughs> continues to slow them through BKB, which mm -hmm. is still a useful tool against Lycan. It isn't. Yeah. Against Ursa, if he pops BKB, you still purge him, and he doesn't move very fast at all. Uh, okay. Now here you end up getting a Yules, yes. Though I don't mind the Yules. They have two BKBs, so the two heroes that you want to target with the Yules um, should be Lycan and Ursa. But the BKB mm -hmm. doesn't allow you to do that when the BKB's up. Also, you can't help teammates. You can't Yules teammates. If you could, then it would just completely make four staff obsolete, in my opinion, because it would be way better to just get a Yules on most heroes. But that's why, see, you saved his life. You mm. saved his life. Now, he's going to die anyway, but that's because the Meep, I mean, just the Meepo played really well. He did really good. You could purge. You're not purging anybody. You're, like, allergic to purge. You're <laughs> going to die here. Okay, you pop that a little bit prematurely. Purge. Shadow poison, something. Oh, what is up with you and purging at, like, 1% life? <laughs> oh! I mean, nuts. What's going on, girl? Slacking right now. I know. I can see this. Holy like, moly. What do my skills do? I keep forgetting. <laughs> doom, 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 <laughs> doom. I feel like we should make a Dota video out of Source. Out of the source mm -hmm. filmmaker with that, just have the shadow demon one of do 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 But no, but seriously, you have to use that more, especially when you see that they're in melee range. Like, mm -hmm. if Lycan is in his wolf form, obviously save it for Ursa. Ursa. Mm -hmm. But if he's if his if his is down, if if his ultimate's down, just go straight for it. Like, just just purge mm -hmm. him and kill him, and I mean, you could have easily just. Amplified his damn, you know, purge, amplified his damage, you, you know. Shadow, shadow poison, poison, shadow poison, shadow poison, shadow poison. You would have died anyway. Although you didn't die there. Mm. But still, you would have killed him, him for you. Pfft, take that shit all, the, all day. And I disagree with them. I think Meepo, um, I think Meepo was a very daring pick because Meepo is really squishy and three of those heroes can basically insta kill him and aa mm -hmm. if played well can actually kill him too because he can just focus on one target so meepo this meepo was good but in reality meepo against that lineup is a super dangerous pick because yeah. he just dies very just fast. lucky that those yeah yeah, those yeah. Dudes went as yes he has to be like he has to be with his skill cap has to be much higher than theirs in order for him to be as successful as he is just so happens that he's actually pretty decent um so that's, here i am that's going what makes a difference i know I fucking hate can't seeing any any of the maps, so I'm gonna buy wards. Mm-hmm. Like I finally decided I know. wards are good. But it's been twenty minutes since you have had awards. Mm -hmm. That is unacceptable. Yeah. I have to admit. That 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 hurts me in my core. And if you were playing with me, that would not be happening. Yep. I would have already been like, Hello, what are you doing? Get me some wards. Oh, Come on guys. Stop slacking. So you have to do a better job of that. You need more vision. Because mm -hmm. how are you going to set up ganks? Like, you guys have needed complexity like smoke ganks for about 15, 20 minutes. How, how do you know where they're going to be if you can't see with, you know, anywhere on the map? Okay, I don't mind this disruption. I would like you to have counter-invis. You still saw him because of your sentry, but now you can't see him anymore. Got to have counter-invis. Got to always have counter-invis. Whenever there's a shadow blade... You have to have a form of counter invis at all times. You cannot rely on the ones that you have already placed. You need to rely on um, things that are happening at the moment. And this Meepo made a huge play here. You are not doing anything but moving forward. You use Ghost Scepter when you're not being um, attacked. I understand mm -hmm. it looks like a mess. But don't lose sight of what's going on in the fight. Stay at a distance. Shadow Poison. Amplify the damage. They were stunned. Actually, pause this. Go back 20 seconds. Okay, so, like, so from here, let's just discuss what's going on. Is there any reason why you need to be forward? Not really. Right? You could just hold position here and do damage over there, right? Yeah. Easily. 
what, well, what could you do? You could amplify damage. You could mm-hmm. defensive disrupt one of your teammates. Mm-hmm. And more importantly, you can just keep putting shadow poison and have shadow poison on those on those opposing players. You have your dual scepter, right? Mm-hmm. You have I didn't use it. Earn <laughs> charges. That's fine. You have earn charges. Like dual scepter right now on Ursa's good because if the BKB is down, you could use it on him because you're creating now a four v five experience. Now, yeah. granted, you don't have one of your um, or they don't have one of their teammates with them, but that's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is you have your um, you have all your moves at your disposal. Why is it that you had to move forward? And then you use mm-hmm. Ghost Scepter just to get over there, which which told me you panic. You don't have to panic. Mm-hmm. Don't panic. Don't be afraid. Don't just you could literally your positioning in this fight should have been where you were. Mm-hmm. Right now, where you are right now is where you should be. But you, what you should be doing is applying your skills at a distance. And mm-hmm. just defensively or offensively trying to create stuff. So by defensively, I mean, so say Ursa now decides to go on this puck. You could just easily either disrupt the puck or mm-hmm. what I would do is Yule's him and then wait. So that let's say puck is still stupid and in range again after the Yules, you can then disrupt him. So now you're basically Mm. making Ursa not only useful for the duration of the Yules, but now you're making him even more useless, or excuse me, useless, I should have said not useful, useless for for the whole duration of the Yules and then a follow-up disruption. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So now hit play, hit play. You moved forward to eat an ultimate and then just to die here because Ursa's going to come and just, see, you get stunned here, shouldn't have been stunned. And then Ursa kills you here. But Ursa only kills you because you're in range. Should have never been in range. You could have still inflicted the same damage on the Lena and AA at a distance than you did up at, at, um excuse me, up close. The, mm-hmm. However, you did less damage because you walked up instead of just casting Shadow Poison. Could you imagine you would have probably done at least 100 to 200 more damage in that fight if you just sat there and Shadow Poisoned. All the time it took for you to move and then get stunned and then die you limited your amount of dps because you would have still been alive you may have been able to disrupt the ursa you could have used the ursa means he would have never gotten away means he would have been down too yeah i don't mean to harp on the same shit and like make you feel bad but i'm just saying next time don't put yourselves in harm's way if you don't have to Mm -hmm. i don't think you needed to there I, i i think you were just fine doing what you were doing um if at the time of the pause you stood um where we both agreed you should have stayed because you would have done a hell of a lot more in that fight however Meepo is just going off right now (laughs) so I I think of all the fights this game I have to say your positioning there was poor but that's one fight in 45 minutes so I actually think that's a really good job because Mm -hmm. the, the decision you made earlier by backing up but staying in relative range to help your team healing up and then obviously moving forward um, to help get kills, that was the correct play. That was like the perfect thing for you to do. Mm-hmm. So it's not that you don't know what you're doing. It's just things are happening really fast right now. And I think you just kind of made the wrong decision in that play. But you made a lot of correct plays. So I wouldn't beat yourself up over that one too much. But yep. just know that, remember, when you're Shadow Demon, you want to be far enough that you're safe, but close mm-hmm. enough that your teammates are safe. What I mean by that is you want to be close enough for disruption and far enough yep. to do damage with shadow or far enough to do safe damage with shadow poison and um, your ultimate. It's a delicate mm-hmm. balance that you're going to have to learn. Um, mm-hmm. That's only going to come with experience. But it's something that hopefully by the end of this, when we stop doing these, sh- um, these episodes, mm-hmm. you'll be good enough to where like all of this is second nature to you now. Yep. Like I want this to become natural, and but that's gonna come with time. But so far, I think I think you're doing very well. I'm. I like the wards you have placed. I think mm-hmm. though you would be better suited placing more aggressive wards because I don't really think you guys are in a defensive position because you have a Rax. Mm-hmm. So I think, like placing a ward. In their god spot, you know what the god spot is, or no? You know that uh, spot by their hard camp. Yeah. yeah, everybody calls it the god 
or at least I call it the God spot. Me and a few of my friends, because if you look at the dollar, like in the back of the U.S. dollar, like you know how they have the. I, let's not get into that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. I. Yeah, these are defensive wards. I don't mind them, but I think you guys are aggressive because remember you guys are racks up. Mm -hmm. So I don't think these wards are necessarily um, the the correct time to place them, but it's cool. It's good to see you're still stacking. Um, yeah, a stack like that in the first 15 minutes of the game is super huge, mm -hmm. just so you know. Also, phase boots. I don't mind the phase boots choice if you're more aggressive, but it's really late in the game. And if you're going to get anything other than arcanes, um, boots of travel or actually... Um, treads for hp although i don't really think it would matter at this point but yeah as soon as i bought them i was like oh i yeah. should have just saved up for bits of travel yeah i agree <laughs> because you don't have tps yeah, and other slots, but it's fine yeah no 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 you use purge but did you see how much damage you were doing to him because he couldn't much? well what do you mean look at his health <laughs> that's you look oh, at his really? health. yes that was just you and the tail well so Still you. Again, gotta have anti invis girl. What's going on now? He's gonna kill yeah. himself here. Why are you running away? Hey, he's coming back. Why are you running away? And why pop close after? Holy moly, donut shot. What is going on? <laughs> Holy moly. What just happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> you were afraid of your shadow, weren't you? <laughs> it was your shadow that scared you. She saw a shadow. Oh crap. Let me go scepter. Go scepter. Oh man! I'm surprised I didn't use myself. <laughs> okay, it's okay. We'll just pretend that that didn't happen. Um, it's cool. I don't know what happened. I think the yeah, noises sure scared you. I think the noises frightened you, though. I think that's what happened. And I think what happened was since since you're a creature of habit, when you start hearing <laughs> team fights or noises and stuff like that, your initial reaction is to be like, "Oh shit!" You know, Defense. let me save myself. Yeah. Oh, this was nice. Unfortunately, he has his ult up. You could use him here. Oh. You could use him. You could have set up the initial uh, thing for Meepo. What the heck was that, Meepo? You could have set up the net for Meepo. Um, mm -hmm. But it's okay. Oh, nice. She's so dead. Oh! Anuxi used him. Nice. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, though, still gonna get away because of BKB. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Beautiful. Shadow poison. Yep. Oh, look at that. Look at you. Super pro. But you are noticing the difference, right? Like in fights like this, you're using your items. Look how, look how, look. Like in that two opportunities to escape, you prevented both of them yeah. because of, um,. You obviously using your items and then your teammates puck helping you out. But you contributed to that heavily. I could have used more shadow poison, like when yes. he was disrupted and stuff like that. Yes, but I that's fine. that it was down. Yeah, but that's... Yeah. I'm not here to nitpick. So, I don't mind that because the kill was still secured. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if we're trying to, you know, maximize our effectiveness here, yes. You definitely got to use Shadow Poison more. Like now, you should always be using Shadow Poison. Yep. Don't forget you have Purge for the AA. Okay, or not. You can just, you know, see. They died anyway, so it doesn't matter. But get into the habit of using it more. <laughs> really. And remember, you want to use it on very critical targets. Mm -hmm. Or you want to use it to, like, defend teammates. Mm -hmm. Yep, I like this. There you go. Shadow poison. Oh. Nope. Shadow poison. Nope. Oh, no. Okay. I, I mean, I'm really happy with the way that you played the early mid game. Because mm -hmm. it, now, I'm going to, you didn't troll me last week, right? I mean, <laughs> like, you literally didn't know how to do any of those things, that, or, or at least for the most part. You didn't know a lot of those things that I taught you last weekend? No, barely any of it. Not the double, definitely not the double bullying. Okay. 
And did you, yes, congratulations. Even the other team thought you were really good, which I agreed with them. Um, okay, so why I say that is because from us doing what we did last week like this to me watching you play right now and mm -hmm. me having watched the replay, it, it, it's why I decided to do it this way this week instead of doing the 3v3 um, scrimmage. We're going to do yeah. that next week, but okay. I have to say it was incredible because I know a lot of people that have been playing Shadow Demon for weeks and weeks and weeks, um, some of them even longer, and they're not intuitively, they're not at this level. They may be better than you in um, minor things like, like team fight target priority, mm -hmm. but that's also because they've played more games on Shadow Demon than you have for much longer. Mm -hmm. But your ability to um, stack, pull, double pull, create kills, you gave your Meepo a crazy advantage early game because mm -hmm. he got solo experience for the entirety of the lane. You were still stacking camps. You stacked Ancients whenever you could. You were buying wards up until about 20, 25 minutes. I think the early game progress was what I was like, wow, it's fucking awesome. So, so I think you did an excellent job. Unfortunately, I don't think the opponents were as good as you are. Notice how I'm saying, like, at your level, the people you're playing against that are equal to your level, based on watching that game, I think you are way better than that yeah. bracket you're playing in, which is kudos to you. So you, you've done an excellent job thus far, mm -hmm. and I'm really, really happy with watching this game because if last week was the first time you were doing half the shit you were, that you were doing in a week to be able to do what you did in this game, that's fucking awesome awesome however i don't want you getting too ahead of yourself and thinking you're the shit now because <laughs> i have to tell you that those players were not as good they weren't yep. really good so they gave you a lot of leeway to make those mistakes like they should have won that game based on the fact that you're that that their lineup was just better than yours in terms of what they can do mid and late game and you didn't ward for 20 minutes they should have definitely taken more roaches they should have definitely been able to smoke gank the crap out of you guys there's a lot of things that can be approved upon this is a replay i would definitely watch and i want you to during your own time, watch, you know, from 25 to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. and, and, but I want you to watch their perspective. And I want you as a support to watch their side and like, hey, like, where should we go? Where should we gank? What should we do? Because I think the biggest difference right now between the West and the East, right? Like, even though Alliance won this last um, G1, don't understand, don't misunderstand. Alliance is just ahead of the curve. Because they're one of the only teams that understand the late game. This is something I've been discussing with Finch a lot. Mm -hmm. Chinese Dota, if you look at the game from 40 minutes for about 35 to 45 on, like in between 35 to 45, they have an uncanny ability, even with no vision, to almost predict where other people are going to be. And from 45 yeah. on, they can play without any wards. But yeah, that was crazy. You could only do like that. Map of yes. Like insane. Yes, you could only do that when you have that much experience and you're that good. However, they don't ever play like that. What happens is um, supporting at that level, there's a lot of uh, gem counter ganking and that happens quite often. Um, but that's also, but at, you know, at that level, at the pub level, there's no reason for you not to have those wards out because no offense, I don't think intuitively you read the mini map as well as those Chinese guys do. So I want you to have wards up at that time. It's really difficult against good players because they're going to counter ward you. So I want you to understand that ju that you're not always going to have wards up there even though you've been buying wards because good players are going to counter ward you depending on map control and what's going on. So for the most part, you're not going to have a fully lit up map at 35 minutes like you would in you know the first 15 minutes. That's not what I mean by placing wards. It's just – so if you know – so if you have a ward placed in the counter it, you know where they are at that moment. So you yeah. can plan accordingly, right? So, okay, we're safe to, you know, farm our jungle. Or we're safe to smoke gank, you know, around here. You know what I mean? Like, um, I don't want you to get confused. As to, you have to have wards up and like the map like a Christmas tree <laughs> from 0 to 60. Because, no, when, when you're playing against better talent, that isn't going to happen. They're not going to allow you to do that, even if you place them. But I want you to get used to at least placing them. Mm. That's huge. Because they could have taken advantage of that shit, and they didn't. And that's why I was, 
you know what I'm saying? Don't get overzealous over the compliments I gave you because I think a large part of it was their inability to perform well in that game. That that was their game to lose, and they lost it. However, yeah. you did everything you could to win the game, and I think you did an excellent job in a lot of fights. I think you had one really bad fight, which mm-hmm. which we discussed. Yeah. But overall, I, I think you bad. did really well in the game. So I'm really fucking stoked. And next week, we're going to do the trial lane versus trial lane 3v3. And now you're going to mm-hmm. have to apply those in real situations. Yep. So now you're going to have to apply the stacking, the pulling, the warding, the counter warding, and the fighting in trial lane versus trial lane scenarios. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what we're going to do next week. Following okay. week, we're going to work on smoke ganking and early game transition. From lane to lane, um, how to decide what lanes to go to. Like earlier in this game, remember when you TP bottom when you saw that you had four of your teammates? That was a very good decision. That was a uh, that's a veteran move. So that's why I gave you the credit then. I was like, wow, that's that was a really good decision. Now it seems really obvious, but some people don't fucking do that. I don't know why. So um, we'll work on that more. But for now, we're gonna work on. We already worked on the super basics. You, I see you applying these techniques, and look how I mean, look how incredible you played for somebody that just picked up supporting in a week at this. Mm-hmm. Like actual proper supporting, not just yes. wandering around with Lena, just going, yes. what do I do? Yes, on a, on, a diff- on a difficult hero. Shadow Demon is one of the mo- arguably the most difficult five in terms mm-hmm. of skill cap. And you're doing a very good job with him. So that's fucking crazy. That's, that's awesome. Now we're going to try to apply this shit in a fucking game scenario against three people that want to beat you. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Because I've been playing like pretty much all week against bots and, and in mm-hmm. pubs, and I don't have that three versus three yes. scenario pop up. The only time I did was when you invited me to that party. Yes. And then I had no idea what I was doing. Yes. Was now like, we're going to work on that. Different. Yes. I'm going to prepare you before we step into that match. We're going to do mm-hmm. that off camera. So that on camera, um, we could then go over like the game i'm not going to coach you during the game i'm going to watch you we're going to critique the game afterwards okay and then we're going to probably play an additional game um where you and you now have tried it you failed or succeeded we talked about the game so you know more or less what you could have done better you know blah 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 blah. and then you're going to try it one more time so Mm -hmm. that's going to be uh that's your progression in terms of your education that's the, you know, that's the curve we're going to go with. So we'll work on yep. the 3v3 stuff next week. And then we'll work on uh, smoke transitions and smoke ganking and um, all that stuff the following week. But for now, that was a fucking excellent job. Really stoked with your performance there. There's some, there's some stuff you can improve on. Like I think your item choices, though I, 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 I will agree that the urn ultimately was the best choice. I do want you to understand that, remember, at the moment you bought it, you had no way of knowing how, you know what I mean? Because you were unsuccessful, yeah. so you gotta, you also have to take those stuff into account. You have to take the game into account of what you're getting. But I think four staff would have been better than Yules. And if you get the Yules, you have to use your Yules more effectively than you did. There's a lot of opportunities, yep. missed opportunities. But when you used it, you saw, holy shit, look how many kills we get because of it. So got to do a better job with that but other than that other than that 20 minute period in which you didn't ward the first 20 minutes i thought were phenomenal especially considering how new you are to this shit so um i'm gonna give you a golf clap for that <laughs> that's um, all i've been practicing like bot games would just be the first like 10 15 minutes and then i'd good. cancel then i'd replay and then i'd do it again that's good that's that's what's gonna make you that's what's gonna make your progression especially at this role much much faster and um yeah so 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 we'll worry about the 3v3 stuff you continue to play your shit this week continue to do what you're doing hopefully you get into more trolley versus trolley scenarios but if not Mm -hmm. try to try to work on being more aggressive in lane and see how it works out for you even if you fail try to do everything you're doing but still try to get more kills and also try to net more kills throughout the first 20 minutes like try to be more successful with ganks and then Mm -hmm. We'll work on the tri lane versus tri lane next weekend. But other than that, really good job. I'm really excited to see you progress. That was a really awesome game. Very happy. Very Thank happy you. with your performance. No problem. All right, guys. So that is the end of this episode. We will be back with the Nuxie next week. Yep. Yay.